you know, we made our position very clear. Uh, this is some report that I was summoned by a uh, uh, deputy uh, um, and permanent under secretary, uh, under, uh, under permanent secretary. It's very confusing. The British title, you know, uh, uh, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a top uh, a civil servant in the foreign office and development and to talk about Hong Kong. And I made our position very clear uh, that we strongly oppose to UK's interfering in Hong Kong affairs, which is China's internal affairs. You know, uh, and they keep saying, uh, they, they accuse China of failing to fulfill its international obligations. And I said, you know, this year is the 75th anniversary of the United Nations. China was the first country, not many people know that. China was the first country to put the signature on the UN Charter. And since then, you know, China has all along abided by the UN Charter, uh, carried out its international obligations. China joined almost all intergovernmental organizations and signed more than 30 more, uh, 300 more uh, international treaties. There's no any record of China's uh, violation of in, its international obligations. But it is the UK, I argue in my meeting, it's the UK side which failed to implement, to live up its international obligations. The number one, the, 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 the key principle of United Nations Charter is every sovereign state should be respected, are equals. And there should no interference of internal affairs of the sovereign state. So UK have violate, uh, violated its international obligations by interfering into Hong Kong affairs and China's internal affairs. So uh, I, I told them uh, the decision made by uh, the uh, National People's Congress Standing Committee is uh, reasonable, is constitutional, it's consistent with the constitution of China and the basic law. Um, so, um, uh, you know, I said on many occasions, uh, now uh, we run into some problems in China-UK relations. The big problem is that the basic norms governing the international relations, that is an, uh, respect for sovereignty, non-interference, in each other's internal affairs have been violated. This year is the 70th anniversary of UK recognizing China, uh, new China. UK was the first Western power to recognize China. We always recognize that. And in the past 70 years, we made tremendous progress in China-UK relations. But we sometimes come run into some difficulties. I always say, if these basic principles uh, uh, you know, uh, abide by, relationship move forward. But if they are violated, the relationship will match with setbacks and even retrogression. So that's the key reason for current problem in China-UK relations. Having said that, we still attach great importance to this relationship because we believe that good relationship between our two countries not only benefits our two peoples, but also contribute to world peace and stability. China and UK are two countries uh, with a global influence. Uh, we are two permanent members of UN Security Council. We are important members of G20, and we have a lot of common ag agenda globally and bilaterally. So we have every reason to make this relationship succeed. We have none, we have no reason at all to let it fail. But you know, as I said, on many occasions, you need two to tango. Uh, we hope that the UK side will you know, treasure the hard win uh, uh, relationship and work together with us. We have no reason uh, to cause any damages to economic business relations between our two countries. I always say business relationship are the bedrock of the overall relationship. 
So I always encourage Chinese businesses in UK to play a role as a stabilizer, promoter uh, of this relationship. But if the political relationship is damaged, if the mutual trust is damaged, they will have a consequences in the overall relationship. You can't separate completely the two because people need to have a mutual trust in order to do business. To trust, in China we have saying friendship goes ahead of business. I, I think your uh, Chairman Fong and the other Chinese business uh, uh, leaders here might share this uh, always, you know, I think uh, 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 the friendship comes from mutual trust. Uh, I do hope that, you know, um, by working together, we can overcome the current difficulties and move forward and, make, and set the relationship back on the right track and to uh, uh, elevate our new re our relationship, our partnership uh, to um, uh, a new uh, level in the new year.